what you're looking at in this video right now, this is an actual blueprint of a house that the class that the previous teacher before I started teaching here at Heritage, the class actually used to build this house. You know how we're building the sheds out back, the class would build this. This is one of their projects. And so this blueprint is pretty cool because instead of a booklet with a bunch of little pages um, of all the different details, they kind of put it all in one thing. This is a pretty basic house. As you can see, it's basically just a square with a roof on it. So there's not a lot of weird details, so they're able to cram it all into one page. And so what's neat is you get to see all the different parts of a blueprint in one page. So here, you see this is our floor plan. We're gonna zoom in and look at those details and what it's telling us. So you got a floor plan. Here you see this is our elevation drawings. So this is you looking at the house. This is showing the heights, how tall is the roof, Whereas the windows is also showing us the exterior finishes. It's going to be siding and shingles. You can see it has windows with grids, shutters. These kind of details are shown here on the elevation plane as well as the height. Here, here is your structural drawing or your detail drawing. And so this is a zoomed in picture of the wall. So this is what's showing what is inside of one of these corners, right? And it's the same, all the sides are all the same. So there's only one detailed drawing because that's all you need. And so it has your foundation on the bottom and it's telling you what kind of insulation is gonna go in your floor system. It's gonna say it's a two by four wall. And then it's showing you the height, how high up is it going to be? How's the insulation going uh, above the wall and all those details, it's all right here. And so then also we have here, we have our detailed drawings, or also these are elevation plans. Just as it is from the outside, you can have an elevation plan looking at it from the inside, like as if you're standing in the room. And so here, this is the master bathroom. It's showing you the elevations, showing you the details, and here is the other bathroom. And so it's saying, here is how high your sinks are. Here's how high the mirrors, the toilet placement, all these things is showing you um, what the inside, if you're standing looking in that room, what it's going to look like. And the last one we didn't talk about, um, but it's just another type of drawing, um, kind of like a floor plan, but this is your roof plan. So this is looking down on top of the roof, it's telling you what kind of slope was on the roof, and it says asphalt shingles, and it's going to um, tell you overhangs and gutters and things, But so that would be a roof plan. Also, before I zoom in, the first thing you want to do whenever you look at a blueprint of any kind is a couple things. First, you want to check and make sure you are looking at the right building. If you're a foreman and you manage five different jobs, you want to make sure you opened up the one that's for the right building. Especially sometimes these new apartment buildings, you're building five buildings that look exactly the same. So you want to make sure you're looking at the right plan um, for where you are at. Because sometimes there's little minor details because it's you're in a different location, but overall the buildings look the same. So to make sure, first off, you're looking at the right thing. Next thing you want to look at is make sure it has been certified. It is a stamp plan and you can see here and it is dated. Make sure that is the case. And you always want to use the most up-to-date set of blueprints because sometimes you're working on a building that it takes five years to build or from the ground up series like we saw, it took them three years, I believe. It was to build that from start to finish. And they updated the plans a lot along the way. So you want to make sure you're not looking at the original blueprint created on day one because they've updated it 10 times. So you're gonna see it here on the stamp and the revision box down here, these two things. You wanna make sure that you are looking to the, at the most up-to-date version of the plan to make sure something wasn't changed along the way. So that's what you're gonna be looking at first. And then the other thing you can find here is also um, the company that has created it for you. So what we are looking at is the floor plan from this house. And so some things to look at. First off, right here it says floor plan, labeling that, and then you see our code, or our, not our code, our scale is quarter inch equals one foot. So for every quarter inch across this, if I were to put my tape measure on it, every quarter inch is going to equal one foot. And so there's all kinds of measurements, and sometimes you gotta search around for what you're looking for. And so let's say we wanna figure out how long this wall is. One way to do it, as you can see, it has these measurements written in between each window. And so we could go through and add all these up. And that is one way to do it. But usually on a blueprint somewhere, they have the dimension that's from edge to edge. Usually there's the overall length somewhere on a blueprint. And so you can see here is going 
50 foot, which is all the way across. And you know how far something is going because this little tick mark on a corner means that is the edge and you can follow that too. But that's so, this measurement, I'll start here. And so it starts at that little hash mark. You slide over and you see there's no hash marks on that 50 all the way till the other end, right? Whereas if we go to the other side, we see it's broken up. There's a hash mark, so this measurement starts here, and then it goes and it stops. So we know from here to here is six foot, but that means that measurement stops there, and the new one, the 11 foot that you see right here, starts at this hash mark and goes across to this hash mark. Right, and so what those are doing are showing you the centers of the window. A plan doesn't give you the edges of windows, it gives you the centers. And then if you look closely, Sometimes on bigger plans, you'll have to turn to a different page to see what size it is. It'll just say window one, and this will say window two. But this plan is pretty simple, and so it gives us the dimension. So this is a three foot four by, um, what does it say, five foot two window. So it's three foot four wide, five foot two tall. And so you would find your center if you were measuring, and then you go backwards. So half of three foot four would be one foot eight inches, right? So you go back at one foot eight inches, and then this way, when you're measuring it and laying out your wall, you get you your window size and laying it out in your wall. And so those are some basic things. Again, let's see if I can get it to focus. Your measurement. So this house is actually, they build it in two parts so they can drive it down the road and deliver it. Um, it's called a modular house system. But you can see here, so they're 12 foot four, and this one's 12 foot four, you put them together and that's a, um, what is that, 24 eight inch house when it's all said and done but so there you go those are the basics of what you're looking at for your floor plan and so when you're trying to figure everything out first thing you want to do obviously is get your overall big outside dimensions and your walls and then after that you're going to figure out where are my doors and windows at and then other little details so those are the things you're going to be looking for on your floor plan here's your elevation as we said before here's a real one and so this is showing you, elevation is always marked by one of these. This is an elevation symbol. So the finished floor is at zero, that's the bottom right. And then your ceiling height, you go up, that means it's eight foot. So that's showing you an elevation marking. You can see here again, your elevation is marked by that symbol. And so this also is giving us those exterior details, such as asphalt shingles, you're just gonna get a rich cap, you're getting vinyl siding, uh, metal gutters and trim and so and it's also going to label this is the left side of the house this is the right side of the house here you have the back of it and the front and so everything is clearly labeled and so when you're reading blueprints basically the most what you're doing is you are looking um, for the correct label so sometimes it's a little bit of a scavenger hunt and you're looking around here is a close-up of those details so here's your certification stamp, and then this is the revision block. And so here's, you wanna make sure it's up to date. If there's revisions, sometimes they're listed here. We wanna make sure you have the most up-to-date version that there is. And here are some more details of the structural plan. You can see it's telling you what kind of sheeting is on the outside. It says you're gonna have a two by four wall, 16 inch on center. It tells you what kind of insulation is going in there. And then, you need paper barrier as well and then looks like that is saying 5-8 drywall on the inside so again all your different things and here you go on your structural drawing your your window height that's an elevation measurement so you get this symbol and this symbol here as well again that's giving you the elevation of your window heights and so those are the basics of what you're going to be finding on a blueprint so real quick review, again, if you're looking for dimensions on your building, you're gonna be looking at your floor plan. This is gonna tell you where everything goes. If you're looking for the heights, because this is flat looking from above, you don't know how tall things are. If you're looking for height or the elevation is the easy way to remember, is the elevation plan, right? A detailed drawing or structural drawing shows you the things that you need to know, the fasteners and materials, what's gonna be put together. And then here are just zooms in of details showing you this is what the finished project is going to look like. This is where things are going to be placed. And then you have your title block, what is going to be your certification, who builds it, all these things. And here in the fourth corner of the page, if you can see, this is A1.1. So if this were a big stack of blueprints, 
and you're gonna have a whole bunch of them. It's labeled A1 for architectural. If there's a civil one or other types of plans, that letter would be different. And so that's how you would read it. So if there were a detail, it would say, let's say you're in your bathroom and it's gonna tell you what kind of door it is. It's called a door schedule. So you would flip to, it's gonna tell you this is, let's say C.5. Point something. You're going to go flip to that page, find that, and that's where you find your detail. But again, overall, so your details, dimensions, heights, fasteners, and materials.